So, Coach, 2-1 victory. Uh, very hard fought game, I would say, for both sides. But uh, I guess we'll just start with your opening thoughts. Yeah, my opening thoughts were I thought we had a very poor first half moving the ball. I thought we were predictable and pedestrian. We got a goal from a set piece and they got a, a lovely goal. But I thought defensively we had the three people who drove in and they very finished it well. It was a wonderful goal. And then I thought, uh, I thought overall the first half was quite pedestrian, sideways, backwards, not, not positive soccer. Um, we said, you know, at half time, look, let's be a bit more assertive, let's get outside the mids a little bit higher, let's play a few more through balls. And I think that causes the, uh, the second uh, the guy to get sent off because we got the chat threatening in the eye and loaded with the red card. And then I thought we were more assertive. A lot. We gave the ball away a lot. We didn't put the ball in the right areas. So that's something we've got to address. But the fact that we've been thrown into the world defeated is a wonderful victory. I thought our work ethic was tremendous. Second half especially, I thought we gave everything. And um, my point of view, it was a great night, a great crowd. Wilmington are a very dangerous team. Bonner up front is as good a forward as they have people ever played. And he's, you know, got some potential in the professional ranks. And then another 21 and the young kid, the young freshman who scored that goal is very dangerous too. So I've got to be happy with the situation, not happy with the last 10 minutes. You just brought his name up, Colin Bonner, the top offensive player, at least statistically, in the conference coming into the match. And he finishes with just two shots, only one of which went on goal, which I believe was a header opportunity yes. in front of the goal. And the other one he sent way over the net. So yeah. defense did a wonderful job containing him. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. You know, Danny and Marius, they got round him when they had two and still you know the header he could have hurt it was a wonderful save from Patrick Cray but he's dangerous and you could see we hone in on him and we did a good job with him by turn and, and uh, credit to our defenders but uh, you know because you pay so much attention to him you get space for the people like for the guy who scored and the number 21 who was dangerous too so you know even though we kept him quite quiet he did take a lot of our attention on the field. Danny Elliott gets his first appearance of the season Got a decent amount of time out there at the end of the first half and parts of the second half. What, what are we seeing from him? Yeah, just a, a lot of anxiousness and over over playing and over dribbling, and he's not calmed down yet. And but he, he's going to be an incredibly valuable player for this program. <laughs> he's just trying to make up for all the games he's missed, I think, and do everything. He's trying to be all things to all people. And what we've got to do is just have him play to his strengths, keep it a little bit simpler, take people on when there's the right opportunity, and then uh, if he combining with people but his work ethic's great and he, he cares so much and uh, to be honest uh, we, we're thankful he's back. In your opening statement you mentioned Nationani for a second a beautiful goal he had to give off the lead and just talk about you you talked about in the past him having more consistency did you think tonight was his best night? Yeah better going forward and better to combine him once you see he gets confident it's incredibly dangerous and that goal ESPN top 10 if we're lucky but to be honest I want more from him I really do I want more defensively and I want more where he keeps the ball I think he's a little bit one dimensional at the moment where he gets it down runs at you and tries to do something he's got to combine more and be more of a, a, a part of a team rather than being an individual winning his games which is wonderful but you know it's about an all-round game as well we're looking for but incredible goal incredible thank you coach